UFOs. The Fallout 3 Script Extender is a modder's resource that expands the scripting capabilities of Fallout 3. It allows mod authors to go beyond the limitations of the Garden of Eden creation kit, which in turn allows mod users to utilize them. Just to name a few things that Foes makes possible. Key press detection, additional hotkeys, gamepad detection for new mods, mod kits for weapons, and colorization alterations on command, new console commands, and much more. The version of Foes that we are going to install only supports the most recent version of Fallout 3, 1.7.0.3. Outdated or stolen copies are not guaranteed to work properly, if at all. For Foes to work, Fallout 3 must first be launched from one of its executable .exe files to establish its system registries and file pass. 7-Zip or WinRare will be required to unpack the downloaded archive's contents. Navigate to foes.silverlock.org. Locate the current build. At the time of this upload, the current version is 1.3 B2. Select the 7-Zip archive link. For easy access, save the Foes archive to your desktop. You can delete the archive after it's installed if you choose. Right-click the Foes archive, select Open Archive. From the archive, read the .html and .txt files if desired and or delete them as they are not needed. Those files are the foes readme, the foes what's new text file, and the foes command doc html. If you are not a programmer and are adding foes to your game as a mod, as the majority of us are doing, you can delete the src folder as well. However, this may be needed by a few to create foes plugins and keeping it will not cause you any issues. Highlight the remaining files using Ctrl and left click to highlight them and copy them. The foes 17.dll, the foes 17ng.dll, the foes editor 15, the foes loader executable, and if desired, the src folder. In the second window, navigate to the Fallout 3 game folder. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 3. Paste the files and folders into the Fallout 3 folder. Navigate to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 3. Right-click the Foes Loader Executable. Send the shortcut to Desktop. From now on, you will launch the game via this executable. Some users may need to launch this as an administrator. To launch Fallout 3 through Foes, you simply have to run it from whatever third-party application option is provided to you. If Foes is not automatically detected, and it should be, navigate to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 3, and launch the game via the foesloader.exe. Doing this will establish the necessary file pass and allow your mod managers to detect it. Various mod manager tutorials can be found in the description for those who need additional help. Launch Fallout 3 through Foes. When you have made it to the game's main menu, use the tilde key to open the console. Type get FOSE version. Push enter. If a version is returned, then you have properly installed Foes. If an error is returned, you need to double check the installation steps. Some users have had to launch the Foes Loader EXE as admin for it to be able to detect the game. If you want to use Foes with the Garden of Eden creation kit to write scripts for Foes, you will need to create a shortcut of the extender and point it at the GEC. Open Mod Organizer. Select the Gears icon at the top to open the Modify Executables window. In the top window, select the Construction Kit, GEC. At the end of the binary field, erase GEC.exe and replace it with foes underscore loader.exe. In the Arguments field, type dash editor. Select Modify, close the window. Navigate to the Fallout 3 game folder. Right click the GEC.exe. Create a shortcut. Rename the shortcut something that you will remember, such as GEC Foes EXE. Right-click the shortcut and open properties. In the target field, erase GEC.EXE and replace it with Foes underscore Loader.EXE. Then after the final double quotation mark, leave a space and type dash editor. Select apply, select OK. From here forward, launch the GEC via this shortcut.
This has been a Gamer Poets tutorial, Foes Fallout 3 Script Extender. If you felt that this tutorial was too fast, a text version can be found on nexusmods.com and will be available as time allows. I'd like to give a big thank you to the Step Wiki, Kelmich, for his fantastic Fallout 3 modding guide, as well as a huge thank you to all of you listening in for spending some time with me here today. As always, I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you for watching.